pick up sprint tutorial for beginners hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with agile project management on clickup so how exactly can you be using clickup for agile project management because we all have heard of clickup as a general project manager but clickup is so much more than that clickup has so many unique features that are going to help you in planning projects whether they are for a software development or whether it is a agile project so let's take a look at how we can run faster sprints with clickup to get started simply head on over to clickup.com and then click on get started once you do that you can sign up to clickup by using your email address you don't need anything else all you need is a email address and once you have signed on you're just going to log on i'm going to wait a couple of seconds and the best part about using clickup is that not only do you have the ability to sign up on ClickUp via your email address and build one singular workspace, but you also have the ability to create multiple workspaces within ClickUp from one account. So this is one account that I have, and this is my general workspace, and I have multiple workspaces, and I want to build a brand new workspace for my sprint tutorial or for my agile project management. So I'm going to be using this for work. This is going to be this. I'm done. I'm not going to to integrate any of the applications and I'm going to just proceed on over and build my brand new space. So once this space has been created, I can move forward on to the next step and that next step is just going to be to create a singular template. So within ClickUp, whenever you build a workspace, within a workspace, you can build spaces and when, within those spaces, you can build folders and folders can help you in organizing your lists. So this is just one list and you can add several different lists to one space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on ahead and proceed with the templates. And then we're going to click on browse template and this is just what i like to use and you can just search for agile project management you guys can see they have agile marketing agile scrum management agile sprint planning agile sprint events so we're going to be going for sprint planning and we're going to click on this template and then click on use template now you're going to name your list so i'm just going to name it agile sprint it's going to ask you where you want the space to be created so i'm just going to have this be created within spaces then you have your import options i'm going to import everything as it is i'm going to import the dates as it is and i'm going to just click on use template and just like so we have opened up our template that we can now use for agile project management or agile sprint management now it's going to take a little while for this to be synced up and just as it is synced up this is our empty list and now this is our agile sprint board now i'm going to remove the empty list from here like so and you guys can see there are a few different boards here i'm going to pin all of those on top just to make it easier and you guys can see all of them are pinned so I'm going to pin all of these just to make it convenient. Obviously, it's not going to be able to pin everything. We have our development status. We cannot have all of it be pinned together. But starting off, we have a development status board or list where everything is categorized based upon to do, planning, implementation, ready for review and for deployment. Then you have a general board where you have a to do section, a in progress and a done section. Then you have a general getting started guide. Now this particular guide you can later on delete as well. And this is just for your general understanding what agile sprint management is going to entail. I like to delete this view once I have gone through it. Then after that, you even have a resources section where you can add your resources. And from here, we also have backlog items. So if someone clicks on the backlog items, these are the backlog items, priorities, assignees. And these are just tasks. These are not categorized with any particular project, but they are defined by the type. So whether it's a user story, task, bug, improvement, or feature. And then you have its deployment status. Now, starting off, the first thing you want to do is to start adding your own data. Now, we have the closed tasks that are hidden. You can choose to hide them or display them. This comes down to personal preferences. And I'm just going to take a look at all of our statuses. So how many tasks do we have? And from here, we can proceed with clicking on add task. And because this is an agile sprint, it has all of the fields predetermined. So let's say we want to refactor app to FA, okay? And then I'm going to click on this task. Once I do that, it has a bunch of different fields that I can fill out. I want to write a description. 
I just want to write a description for this particular task. I'm going to insert this below. Then below that, you can click on tags, relationships with other tasks, track the time, set up the priority, as well as the assignee. Below that, you will have developmental fields. So in the development status, this is under planning. You can add subtasks, checklists, and attachments. Once done, you can close this out. And just like so, we have our brand new task that has been created. Now, keep in mind, you can also add the option or status for uh, what type of task this is. So specifically, if you are defining what type of epic this is from, if this is a authentication item, if this is a file management task or a UI UX update, and then you can add whether this is a feature improvement or bug. So this is going to be improvement or and the remaining hours as well as the epics that this relates to just like so now whenever you add a task here keep in mind that everything is going to be synced in within the board section so now this is moved into board as well because all of these are interlinked within your agile sprint so this is going to help you in making sure you're on track with all of the things in a easier way because Development status is a base is a more elongated view of your basic boards. And then as your backlog items are going to be shown here whenever they are past their due date. Then after that, you can always view your resources and you can actually assign multiple different assignees here. This just makes it easier for you to take into account who is performing what at what time. Now, this is just one sprint board or one agile sprint board. If you want, you can simply click on your space and then click on create new, click on new list, and you can build a brand new list that is according to your particular preferences. So if I want to add something based upon approvals and I will click on create and I will have a brand new list over here. Now within that, I can go on ahead and uh, add projects that are approved or not within my sprint. Obviously, if you want to interlink the data, then you would be creating your view within the same board. So if you want to interlink some data from here, which means that if you want to approve the tasks here, you would click on view and add another Kanban view and you can add the fields of approvals. And just like that, you can get started with Agile Sprint Management with ClickUp. It's truly this simple and this easy. And not only does ClickUp allow you to do uh, easy agile sprints, but you're easily able to go into your home section and view only things that are assigned to you. So you're able to accomplish tasks quickly. And the best part is, is that ClickUp is free forever. If you want some upgrades, you can get their $7 unlimited plan and $12 business plan, which can upgrade your storage and the number of integrations, Gantt charts, and custom fields that you can create. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with ClickUp Sprint. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or any queries, then I want you guys to make sure to leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know everything you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.